Welcome back, social media. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to Trines and Opinions. How was your weekend? I hope you did rest. I hope you had fun. I hope you did whatever it is that makes you happy, because I did. <laughs> My name is Becca. This runs every Mondays to Fridays at 8 p.m. where we give you a rundown of trending topics. Today's Monday, so we'll take you through all that trended during the weekend. And damn, a lot to trend during the weekend, guys. First off, we have the Jada situation. Jada came on the right table and told us that, yes, she had a relationship with August Alcina as he said but the truth is it happened while she was separated from Will Smith or with Will Smith whatever the situation was at is and she also said that Will Smith or they both implied that you know they both did their stuff they were both cool with themselves doing whatever it is that makes them happy this is as opposed to what August told us that we knew and Will Smith was okay with it and I'm just like Although initially she said that it was an entanglement that she had with August and for whatever reason people picked on that word and you know they flew with it. So the trend was all up on entanglement as well but that situation happened. NDDC was back in the news with the former MD of NDDC Joy Nune accusing a purview of high levels of corruption and fraud. The Minister of Niger Delta Affairs was also caught up and asked and man said that she said all that she said she has temper issues because she's been married to for husband how is that your response for fraud allegations and bombing of pipeline allegations well that happened as well and also Kalawale Jensen went on Sunday politics on channel TV and dragged Dr. Cairo of the NDDC and it was a thorough dragon guys that was heavy yesterday night but now let's take you to today's trend and all that's trending today on social media at number one we have hashtag corona vaccine this is trending because at number seven where we have Russia as well Russia has become the first country to have completed clinical trials of a COVID-19 vaccine and this was concluded in Russia section of university and we're really just awaiting results in the coming days but this is of course good news and people are pretty excited by this corona vaccine guys as for me anything to treat this coronavirus is fine with me whether it is from China or Russia I am tired I am as well Russia becomes the first country to test corona vaccine successfully Democrats are busy fighting Trump day and night yet their enemy is progressing this is not about who is progressing or not this is just about a vaccine for this deadly virus that has really showed us pepe at number six we have novel novel igwe is one that is actually trending he said in the very long thread i'm just gonna be able to take this first part the igwe women are lazy does not like to work and just want to sit back and enjoy their husband hard-earned money they want to inherit their husband's property and then he inherits from their father's house as well but do nothing but answer oriaku i also do not know if this is sarcasm or if this is just noble igwe's way of getting back at people who generalize or whatever but noble is trending because of this thread dr olufumlayo who is just back from his leave says if you read this thread alone you will want to kill noble igwe that's true but there's a context a lady used isolated experiences to bash the whole of igwe culture despite being told that generalizations are false noble has also generalized about igwe women and now people are crying ug at noble whatever was given it hot hot to someone in that thread there is a context to that is thread noble is a proud ambassador of our cultural heritage and the industry of our women it is not a threat to be taken literally then i think if it was just sarcasm we should have indicated that because this is too deep to just let go i haven't met a lazy igbo woman before in fact hard work is like the number one rule for a newly wedded igbo woman that noble igwe's tweet better be sarcasm because what the fuck yes this is because people cannot really point out what exactly he was driving at. and finally noble igwe is the last person on twitter you should have expected to bash igbos or the igbo culture he's a proud ambassador of the Igbos. That his thread was a context and I am absolutely loving how some of you are losing your minds over it. Enjoy the generalization. That's it fam. That's as much as we can take on today's episode. Thank you for sticking with me. Please follow, like, subscribe and do all the nice things that you do. My name is Becca and I hope that you're prepared and ready for this beautiful new week. Have a fantastic evening guys. Bye. <laughs>